Rounds of elimination dictate that the plant can now go down. Smokes are up. There's no way for them to contest other than that nade and damn Dexter's gone down to 3 HP from that. A gap though in the first of the smokes has enabled the frag and now the bomb across. Beam is safe. Bodyguarded across. They just used the one smoke and it's enabled them to get it down, Chad. Did they miss the smoke? Uh-oh. I can already see how this goes. Line has had a smoke and a kit and the smoke is down. Both of them are down. The kit loose. They'll have to pick it up. A brawl now around the smoke. Frozen needs one. Needs this one. And they're charging at him with knives out. Oh my god. Frozen will get him. On the bomb now. No kit recovered. It's three from Rez. Plopsky has to finish the job for the boys. What is going on? Yeah, and I just can't quite explain that one. A knife to finish. Acor will finish the job. Mouse Sports will take that <laughs> chaotic pistol. What? Is ha well okay. Well, we knew this was going to be an unusual affair. Did Mount Sports miss a smoke while taking the site, or did they just never throw it? Why? I I looked at the radar in the early stages of that when they all got kind of paused on out. Yeah, and I, that's a good reaction out of Frozen because that is one way to kick off this mount. Now, Mount Sports have converted every single pistol round. Well, they picked up every single pistol round. Converting the first has happened. Converting. The second, not so easy, right? So let's see. They've already had their woes against the lighter buys of the ninjas. And this little boost has been assembled here. Now, this is a, on a bit of a timer, right? You'll see every now and again, Rez will pop up his head. Maybe when they molly sandbags, that'll be his go. But he needs to be careful because he can be spotted and then they will get spammed on through by these rifles. Yeah, trying to be as low profile as possible. Now he'll look to confirm any info we can get here and short constant threat. Need this something. is what he was yeah. waiting for but Dexter does strike and looks good for Mouse here to convert. The hard part's over. Plopsky's committed. He has to fight. And he will. Fights off the first with a Famas and a high flash to get him back in behind the smoke if he desires. He'd love a teammate right about now. Where are they? No one has arrived in time. Linus just about gets to the elevator position. Device still working on that flank. Okay, we're just holding on to these upgrades here. I'm sure Linus would try and get something on the way out the door if possible. Device is already in T spawn here, covering off the exit. But Mouse Sports won't have too many worries here, right? They were able to pick up the rifle that fell in Bimus' hands. They're actually hiding the Famous right now, so that can't be picked up for Linus either. You can see Acord doing his housekeeping right there, so that's good stuff. And the only thing that they lost, really, in the scheme of this was a Mac 10. So, all good. All good for Mouse and around like this. It's going to be very, very interesting just to see. Like, NIP leaving this open, there's always the potential that can be picked. You're calling the bluff of your opponent. There's a lot of different things that go into that. Oof. Okay, well, Device has just been absolutely wreck -a Nice shot there from Rops. And that'll be the round 2-0 with just one saved eagle. So surely, surely, this one doesn't get out of hand. Mouse Sports should, right? This is the best opportunity they've had to convert against one of these, right? It's the, it's the least threatening third round that we've seen for Mouse Sports so far. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is a single save Desert Eagle. One whole flashbang. I mean, I don't know how they plan to uh, implement it. I'll be interested to see if they do go for anything quick and aggressive. Yeah, up mid, I like that. A chance to get a weapon, an early duel. Linus might go a bit aggressive on this. And, well, Rops has dealt with it. Lovely, easy collection. Two Deagle bullets to the center of mass, you'd think would have done enough, but just out of that range. And Dexter's cleared A, like he's actually pushed the entire thing. Uh, that gets really, really awkward about now for yeah, the ninjas. Yeah, definitely. They have no idea. Look at this. Easy collection for the Aussie. Oh, that's lovely. Let's that see if he get them. Ah, four. No, no. Acor wants that one. And Acor, with that knife kill he had on the pistol, you know, he's looking swole as far as the cash department's concerned right now. He's got 6.6. .6. So if he wanted to bring out the AWP, he could. But I would say Mouseport's going to carry through with the MAC-10, with the Galils in the mix. They're just... Changing the guns up, I, I'm wrong. They are going to get that ACOR AWP out immediately here, and that is one thing that they have in their back pocket that NIP can't afford going into round four. Device will have to operate here with just an M4. There is a kit in play for NIP, though, so retakes are possible. Quick up the stairs. Device is going to be tested here. Has to fall away, Plopsky. Well ahead of that Lurk Smoke dropped out by Frozen, so he'll be able to keep him contained. Device, a lot of responsibility on his shoulders for this B defense, and they are coming knocking. Sending Acor in just to clear out that default box, and Device, if you put your head in the vice, 
Reaper will pull the trigger, and it's as easy as that. Nice movement as well, trying to maintain that space. Hampus to rotate in. Linus fully flashed off the line. It looks great for Mouse Sports here. That AWP investment already justified as it's given him a way into this B site. Now it's time to get across. Two smokes to be deployed from Mouse. You'd expect to see them now. The reactions from the CT is in. Oh, back turned. Linus a bit late to the draw and only one in the feed from the ninjas. Not going to be easy by any stretch. They're hanging around though. And he smoked off again. Hampus has got no way in and stray bullets into the smoke will force the save. That position that Hampus is in, right? It's just it, teams going for boosts. That's one of the only ways really back in. So the pre-spam through the smoke, as we always talk about, it's not a wall. Even though they do seem very, very threatening, those smokes. And that's going to be the fourth round here for Mouseport. So great stuff for Acor, right? This is an individual who uh, I think we could all agree is inconsistent at best, right, with the AWP for his team. And if he can show up and have impact and he can find opening picks, especially onto device, that's great, right? That is fantastic. So that's what we're looking for. And they will be walking away here with all the goodies. Only two save rifles. Lost bonus. Oh, maxed on out here for an IP. So Plopsky and Rez can drop rifles across if they'd like to be threatening again. And we're about to find out, do NIP think that the AWP is essential for this CT side, right? Because if they do drop guns, right, it's signifying they don't want that AWP, or that they're happy to buy without that AWP. And I can tell you, as I see the purchases coming on through, they have opted to go all in here. So NIP, just with two rifles saved, to continue to keep themselves in a threatening position. Hampus with a silent stem four. And they have a decent chunk of utility. Look, it's not great. It's not everything you want on this CT side. So let's see, can Mal Sports keep the pressure up? Three over towards A again, and this is their default spread. Noisy as you like, smokes in exchange, and Plopsky held at bay. Will throw out a molly of his own. Nice little boost here. Frozen looking for whatever info he can. Whoa, that's quite the mid setup. Good luck, have fun, Rops. But knowing him, he'll hold this tight line and worm away. No, he's going for a bit more. Re-aiming some boosts, and that's the end of him. Doesn't get a chance to really think about it. He's eliminated immediately. And talking of partnerships, you can see Plopsky and Linus in a potent little crossfire of their own. Yeah, this is pretty jarring as well. As Mao's trying to send up this ramp here, they could both swing. I say crossfire, definitely not. What it is, but a couple of warning shots. The bait and switch oh, works out up. wonderfully. It's a one for two, and it's a deal that favors the ninjas because it's left Mao's Oak only operating with Acor's AWP and Bemis behind him. Yet to see this AWP go down. Let's see if Acor can keep flying as high as he has. They're re aggressing short here. Plopsky and Rez staying together. The ninjas using this. Oh, partnership nice system. Shot. Yeah, Dink exchange. The AK is just better. Plopsky found the two to pull NIP into this man advantage, and now it's down to perhaps him to finish it. Well, good util here. Time a bit of a problem, though. They need to get this bomb down. Yeah, and the flash could, and they could enable it. It's not going to be easy. One single bullet or even a nade. Some shrapnel to finish off the job. Acor's just got no hope. Hard committed to the site and NIP, yeah, just convert off of Plopsky's handiwork early. And I'm sure Device is going to be loving getting his hands on that AWP there. So that all problem, it's been solved pretty much immediately here for NIP in a great round. Just know, in every single fight there that they took, they had two bodies, right? The two players stacked up, Linus and Device both ready to fight that hampers Plopsky combo to get them another double kill. Here they were smoked off, it was the combo of Util ready to play off of Plopsky's position. So really good stuff there from NIP. That's what you want to see. But Mouse, plenty of cash to splash. Back on in with a buy of their own, and Acor has that AWP again. They're happy to be held at bay by this initial smoke, allowing Acor to search over the top. Looking for any NIP members getting a little bit cheeky about things, and here they go, the crawl begins. Okay. Notice how little util, other than that initial smoke, they use. So Rez is going looking dry. Very dry here. There's so many members on the other side of that scout. Oh, they heard him. And Plotsky, hard shot to hit. How does he take Frozen down so efficiently there? Hampus good for one as well, just on that default box. So again, these A jewels have given that man one man advantage over. It doesn't look like it will last oh, forever. Nice Acor shot. snaps to Hampus over the smoke. Divider smoke left side provide. 
from Dexter. And there's another one on Acor. Rops could throw one out as well. Do they want to use that for the plant? They're running out about 10 more seconds on it, so they'll just let that one fade away. They've got two more for the go. That bomb's still right open in the open. Here's the util. Linus has a stop molly. Could try and get that onto the default box. 25 seconds. See if Device has got the wall bank line up. He does. Oh, well done. One more bullet. He pulls off Dexter's plan. Repositions though. The leader just about. No. Linus again with the denial. And now Rops has got so much pressure on his shoulders. He's got a plan. Another fake at eight seconds. That's unreasonable. And now there's no time. He cancels it again. He needs all three frags. He needs oh! all three frags. Oh my god, it nearly happened. Device just gets himself up on the box in time. Saves his orb by virtue of the no scope. But that's the closest way you're going to see an NIP round. Fiery right there. Look at that. Everybody on Mouse is able to get what they want. AKs for four, Acor back into the AWP. So Mouse are in a position right now to really break the ninjas. And Rez is going to feed the beast. Acor, as you discussed, happy to be kept at bay by that ramp smoke and just posts up for peaks like that. They just respect that smoke, right? They're like, if you're going to peek behind it, you're going to get a little bit lazy with how that you, you and you think we're running up. Well, Acor. He'll find you. I can't believe Hampus is as brave as he is, though, just to be patrolling the periphery of that angle that we just know Acor was in. Yeah, very cavalier. Lucky smoke dropped. Peek over that. Covers the aggressive line onto the scaf cross. But they are maneuvering back to B, and it's wide open right now, Chad. Yeah, this is the right call. NIP are coming to bolster this A defense. Uh, they've given up everything else on the map right now, so... It is just likely to be a gamble into a save here. Plopski is about to call this one completely empty. And now, with these noisy steps above, Frozen's hearing this. He's calling this rotation. If you're mouse watch, you better start moving. The move they will. Molly's a little short. Doesn't really have anything or any ramifications. Oh, they haven't cleared it. Oh, him. Linus was aware of the possibility, but Rob still strikes true and they might have to save now you can see they're already starting to scarper but acor's plucked another on the retreat i can't even believe they even went for it right they were completely out of position there i think the fact that they got the info and the bomb wasn't down just yet they thought they could beat that rotation but as i mentioned frozen can hear all those footsteps above him so just noisy and now it's about holding on to these well guns it's just one now singular device awp we'll have to contend with all five it's rops but he's given up his position here i don't think he's long for this world Oh, it just gets around the corner, but an ambitious repeak. He knew the gap was closing fast. And there you have it. Completely exhausted of funds and weapons. This is the catch on res. Yeah, and there actually, I think uh, you can see the flash assist. Now that flash is designed to land behind Plopsky, so he's not going to be fully blind. He's just going to be a, a little bit flashed on up. But Mouse Sports, one thing that if you're NIP, you need to be noting, they're not contesting that smoke. Now, that's something that Mouse Sports can change in the future. Because if NIP are just throwing the single smoke and not fighting, Mouse can maybe be a little bit more aggressive. They can maybe push through that smoke and take a fight or two. Now, boosting up in middle, that is Linus elevated. We've already seen from NIP a couple of tendencies, and I know this is an eco round, so you're more likely to go more gambly and, and, and heavy in the stacks, but they've played two mid and leaving B open. Linus has heard a step or two. You'd love to see him get one. Oh, and he got away as well. Maybe that will bait, bait Rops into this fight with Device's D. Nade looks good for Linus. Oh, perfect trajectory. He catches that one and Rops with a high-speed Pokeball has pulled us back to the 4v4. Only really Deagles. So as they dump their Util B, there are going to be bodies behind it. No one from Nip is actually on the site. Plopsky's trying to flank. Rops will have heard this or suspected the same. And that comes easy. Well, this is six already here for Mouse, right? They are going to mop up these final few kills. It's just resin device now. The bomb getting planted by Frozen as we speak. And this is already a very, very good T side haul. So it looks like if things continue as they are right now, Mouse Bots are looking like the much better team on Vertigo. And uh, that should be lining us up for that third map. It's what you want, right? The Consider playoffs. yourself punished, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, this is also this is a, a move you probably don't whip out in a round robin groups, but. When you're aware of your opponent, when it's winner stays on, and it's for the playoffs of the four-week-long event, 
you're going to want to pull out all your stops, and they definitely have. Mouse Sports Vertigo looking fierce right now. Dexter calling a good game. I just like the fact they're not rushing anything. You know, they're just really taking their time. Oh, look at that. Special delivery for Rez right there. He'll be happy to take that AK. So will Device. That's two really good finds to carry on through to the next round of play. Very humble position. And hopefully they're forgetting about those anti-eco losses on Ancient because that could have been their map as well. So here we go. Just a single smoke down the ramp. Rare's going to lob out one of his own. And yeah, the thing is, if you throw everything in the kitchen sink, if you're NIP and they don't contest, right, you drop your mollies, you yeah. throw in everything you got, then you have nothing to play this more passive side defense with here and crawling on up. Malz have the open runway. They have so much space and Acor's baiting. There we go. Two straight up. And Plotsky loses his head. Frozen takes off Hampus's as well. Reds with a defensive smoke to try and aid the gap. For Linus, good counter utility from the CTs just to slow their roll a little bit. But during all of this chaos, you've already got the late lurk out mid from Rops. He's planning to strike should his team require it. They haven't gone for the plant. Frozen considering it now. And there's no warp in place and so no wall bang to be seen or heard. That molly's late from Linus. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, not at all. They've already got the bomb down and then some. And Rops is coming. Whoa, they may as well this one seven. Rez, that's great. Is he considering the flank? He has device looking for him now trying to clear out Rops and yeah, no, not a very diligent clear. Can't really fault him either. Rops just completely under the enemy lines and at ready a seventh. Yeah, they're really running away with this. It, it's good to see Mouse Sports here showing a strong face. You don't really know what Mouse Sports map pool is, you know. They seem to always play something different. There you go. A nice find. Rops will find Rez and there it is. This is running away with it now. There's still, look, if NIP can turn the half around and get six, then we can have a bit of a conversation here. But I think anything less than six, we should just be considering this one done. I, I love this pace change. And Acor was still down in forklift room firing the orc bullet, right? So he, from a distance, is making it seem like they're doing that. This is what I spoke about. Because they're not, they're not charging straight through that smoke. They've waited every time. So then this time, they're throwing something a little bit different. And it's been on a gun round. It's been on a key round. Oh, look at this. Oh, you want something different? How about charging into device on these stairs? This time, however, Dev has come up Trump. He's actually bought into this with a, with a bunch of extra cash. Did Rez drop him the M4? He may have done. Well, it may be paying off. Hampus, oof, loses his life. He took one shot onto Frozen. Does leave him at just 33 points of health. Vulnerable now to the rest of those CZs and... Deagles alongside for the device M4. Now, they know the M4 was B. So they're trying to counter their losses by pausing and hoping that there'll be some aggressions elsewhere. Device hasn't moved a muscle. Klopsky's having a little look and it may be powerful if he gets himself tucked in on this tight corner. At least makes the CZ... Oh, you wouldn't go further. Oh, Klopsky. Oh, Klopsky, this is what they were waiting for. He does go down. Feeds them exactly what they were waiting for. The information is going to be transferred, but yeah, one flash is all Rez has. Good luck, have fun. You better hit some scorching deagle shots up against this Rops AK-47. I really don't fancy your chances. Device is here now. Bomb to go down. As soon as he does rattle off a tracer fire or two, there will be bullets in return. This is great. Mouse. Backing up this Vertigo pick with a stunning T side and a T haul to win out the half already. This is going to be for eight. Ah, they're going for it. Rez has a kit. No smoke on that bomb. And a nice happy one to finish off the job, but it's just the frag onto Frozen. That's all they can celebrate. It is going to be that eighth. And last timeout. Basis, right? So with the AWP, it's not a bad weapon to hold down that B site, but you. Oh. Hampus, he's just jumped straight down the B stairs and there's more to come. Oh. A tag into the shoulder blades of Acor, but he leaves with it. And now Device down and out. It looks like NIPR too. Linus has to be the hero, trying to beat Dexter to the punch. He's done that. Acor, a missed shot, a baited shot. Linus trying to keep him busy. It's brave oh, to be great. sticking around there. A missed Molly, Molly. Missed. that would have killed him. That would have been Acor dead. Dead to rights. His Rops, Rops has worked through mid. Rez responsible. He's got so much freedom though. Not even concerned about elevator. 
Look at this. He's so focused, so aware that he's got the full CT commit. And oh. that relieves a lot of pressure. Where's Plopsky during all of this? Rez. Expecting another one. He wasn't. And now Linus has got his head on a swivel. Acor last seen B stairs side. And a loud one behind you. You really have to hold your nerve here if you're LNC. Now focusing on Frozen. It's the right call to make. We'll take him down. And that's the finish. Three from the rookie. Impactful fragging. Putting a third on the board when no one really thought it was going to happen. NIP have managed to finally voice some concerns after a slew of four from the boys of Mouse. That's huge from Linus, right? The, his first kill, the one where he scrambles over to the site, right? These are two near misses, you know? You, you get Device just missing that shot and Hampers unable to convert. But when Linus scrambled over to the site and he stops the initial player from taking control, that throws the, initial, the whole round up into question. So Linus has done so much here. It's not just the kills, it's the impact of that first. Oh, and look at this. Hampers, hello. So, Be careful. People firing bullets into the smoke at you. Hampers is catching them. And I don't know who's going to leave with a frag here. It's up for debate. Great nade, just shy of the mark, though. Bit too high. Dexter, however, takes both heads down. Rez and Plopsky, nothing to report. Nothing from their A ramp hold. Oof. That's another round. They've just stomached two deaths straight away here. So NIP, they did it before. I don't know how they're going to do it again. Surely Linus has done enough here. You can't <laughs> expect him to have another big round. I mean, there's the ground set for something. He's going to be cleared by Acor, it looks like. Oh, the whole squad will clear him. Okay. Looks like mouse sports are being incredibly thorough. Yeah, and Device is just going to want to save, right? So, oof, geez, this is nine. This is out of control now. It's not starting to get out of control. It's not just looking good for mouse. It's a great T half here. And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the answer can be if you're NIP. You can't be starting rounds in back to back fashion, losing two players here. So, oof. I'm going to see how how warped my memory was. Like, in my mind, the old full Swedish nip were playing Vertigo actively. You remember, I remember like... I think North we have a highlight where it was like... USP 6K or whatever. Yeah, and he killed Rez or something with yeah. him. Yeah, one of the... But, but was that, that just a flash in the pan Vertigo? That was like last year. No, it wasn't. Like, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was last year. What have I become? So it's, it's a long time ago, right? And I, I think like... Stats. Especially since Ancient came out, NIP have been prioritizing that. It doesn't feel like they have a super strong map pool because if they're feeling that they have to ban nuke against mouse and they're willing to float but like there's there's a lot to be kind of dug into there but here you go you can see where the money is out for nip not great this double here dexter literally just holding down the trigger controlling that spray two kills okay. there's a chance for linus but yeah slowed on down it's genuinely never been like a feather in their cap. Uh, I think I was definitely uh, overly stimulated by the one good moment that NIP's X player had. I think even Twist was on the team at that point as well, all, right? That's so, how like, much I'm living in the park. Right back. Oh, Linus with a real attempt. A Hail Mary, if you will. Uh, let's get this one over, shall we? Yeah, I think NIP have decided the same. Yeah, I think, I, I just think with these crazy all-in maneuvers that they're going for here, like it's it's been a clear shift. We've seen through the entire T half that mouse sports other than one round are just willing to play and respect your smoke. And when you do want to push and try and contest and your tells of smokes and spam and nades through, they'll just throw their own at you. And they're getting in the last three rounds, they've had the opening two kills. Now there's another one, right? You're operating with a huge advantage against a buy from NIP that's already crippled. They're operating with a far weaker scenario here. And this is 10. Double digits for Mal's already. They are really running away from this. Or with this. Inferno next. I guess we should see if we can get there quick. Just keep it fast. Just keep the pace up because it's looking dire right now. Okay, they know where he is. Regroup. Go to the other bomb site. Plant the bomb. And do exactly that. So isolating the kill here and max loss bonus. You guys know the drill. Device just immediately purchasing, right? Just just immediately buying straight on in. I'm not saying he's tilted. I'm just saying that. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, nearly getting a full double rainbow all the way. Hope that's not the most exciting thing we all have to write home about of this map. Of that round? Yeah, actually, probably the most exciting part. See, look, Device has bought an M4 and everything, and everybody else is on a partial. Yes, well, we and all know what's going bought. on. And he instantly We all know what's going on there. Like, you're down 10 rounds. He has the mindset of, we've got to do summit. We need summit now. It's not like... We, we, we can afford to give away one at this point in time. You've got two opportunities. So he wanted to go for the double bite of the cherry. Yeah, this is really coming back to bite NIP, isn't it? I felt even if Nuke was picked against them, I think their CT side would have looked a little bit better than this. Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to probably lead to the vertigo bans in future, right? They prioritize <sighs> the removal of nuke. Well, think about this, right? So in the first map of Ancient, Mouse Sports had to stomach, right, and have go get through the mental anguish of losing three anti-ecos. Yeah. Now you're NIP, you floated something in the veto, you didn't think you would get punished on it, right? Because that's the way it's starting to look now. You get punished on it, so you basically... The series is just starting at nil all. Yep. So what you did on Ancient, all the work that you had to do, it doesn't matter. Like, and if you're Mouse, you forget about that. It's like, okay, well, we just won the second map. I'll pick really easily. So let's just go on the third, shall we? Like, the anguish of losing those Anticos, I don't feel that that blow is hard anymore. No, far from it. And I mean, we've already, we already know that Mouse Sports can hang with the big boys over on Inferno. I think they actually had two of the longest, if not most exciting Inferno games of IEM Cologne. There was that ridiculous OT versus Liquid. Yeah, that was a good game. 25-28 that one finished, and that was for the team's fate. This is just, it's, it's hard to watch a game like this because it, it's one team who, like, we need to sing Mouse Sports praises here. They're looking very organized, their flanks are great, the, the pace changes are really good. I've enjoyed the approach of this. Acor's been finding impact with the AWP, everything working, right? The mojo in that camp of Mouse Sports right now needs to be at an all time high. And we already know that NIPs has been a little bit more fragile. Just picking up the last few kills here. The man who bought the M4 last alive and I'm sure he'd love to save this and should be doing exactly that. 11 now. As the bomb goes off, now sports post yet another round. Dexter decides he wants to shave one kill off the old tally. Leaping off of the building for cool boy points. Cool boy points. Yeah, you're a cool boy. If you time it right, you jump off a of vertigo repeatedly, but time it just right so yeah. that you take TP to spawn before you crater. Okay. How many points do you need before I, you get called a cool boy? Uh, at least four. At least four. Yeah, I've, okay. I've, I've, I started the club and I've got about seven. All right, nice. Nice, I'm glad. All right. Yeah, I hope there's a Steam group. Join, yeah, join the, the uh, cool, cool boys. Cool boy club, Shadow, books him. Look at the tracking. Oh boy, oh boy, and it res a bit late to the trigger there, does not have a rebuttal. Acor, again successful on these uh, NIP ramp maneuvers. Hampus does well to find one on the edge of the smoke prior to the fade, and Rez wants to stick around for more here. Trying to peek under that smoke, Acor seems wise to his tricks, and one between the legs there. That's quite the response. Hampus just long range into the AWP. His eyes is looking elsewhere and it enables NIP to at least try and finish with a fourth. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> no, what? Finish Imagine with a if their CT side was just like. It was, their CT side's actually really good. Mouse are just super legit on the T side. Then NIP crossover and then they go, like, what are we talking? 10 yeah. rounds straight out the gate. Yeah. Right? Let's. That's not going to happen. But let's just. John Lennon for a second. Maybe this one's still up for debate, Chad, because Device has been caught with a nade pull. Yeah, and it's frozen and rops to clutch. Yeah, and probably the scariest pair. Smoked off, Linus, a lot to do here, and Frozen's really not going to give you any respite. Rez, the 1v2, just for a little bit of pride at this point. Unless they line up for him, get some sort of dreamy collateral, not going to happen. He now knows one has slipped to the default plant. Bomb down. Both their crosshairs now looking in your way. They're not going to give you a frag. You, you have to come to them. Not 
gonna be fun. He rounds the corner, sees the barrel, knows it could be one close, and it's all frozen. Momentum for Inferno. Let's see how quick they can close. Yeah, I might have to borrow the pajamas off of those ninjas because it did put me to sleep in that first half. Absolute disaster. And it's a punish from the Mouse Sports boys. Let's see if they can finish it off with all those spice and everything nice. An open and shut vertigo would start with a pistol, and pistols haven't been hard for Mouse Sports to come by. You can see one expect does only just lean Mouse Sports way. Of course, one zero advantage to ninjas after a great ancient. It's gone back and forth, but it's been the tightest of margins within the odds there. And I think the sentiment for everybody coming into today's game was this is a pretty 50 50 matchup. Right now, it's a B lean, a heavy B lean from Mouse. They have three players BMAS, A core in the quad position of Rops, up close and personal, Dexter. Overseeing bid on some jiggles and they're going for a mix to me, dude. Like Mouseboard are in the right place. Oh. oh, Dexter run down and this Glock train is on its way. Suddenly the USPs are filling the feed. Every single one. Hampus Linus respond. Frozen with two to deal with. He does have the bomb, or at least he did. It's now been retrieved. Hampus has it. He's got a nice stop molly lined up. Hampus will get it down regardless. Burning slightly, but heating up with a bullet of his own. Okay. NIP will slow the mouse port's roll. Okay, well that's the first pistol that mouse haven't won. So that is at least a change for the better. But... But it is a 12-3 half. And all of those disruptive second round forces that NIP have tried and thrown into the mix. Maybe it's time for Mouse Sports to have one of their own. Let's see. Let's really see here because if NIP come on and they turn it on and have a crazy T half, yeah. we're going to be blown out of the server here. I'd sign me up. Blow my mind. Yeah, let's give us something to sink our teeth into. Acor, interesting. Yeah. What are you cooking Look, up there? he's got some weird wall banks, right? Acor loves a cheeky wall bank. He's used to the biggest gun, so... Eagle sounds scary. I wouldn't be pushing through that smoke anytime soon, but they've lobbed out a few extra, and now they're starting to take some space. Hampus up on the scaffolding position, has device and res in just behind him for support. Hampus, that smoke is fading any second. You know Dexter's close too. Who's going to relent first? Dexter seems like he's hanging about. He wants some traction here. Flash, Flash in. Not bad, and the shot is better. Hampus with a quick reaction through the tarpaulin. Game on. Game on indeed. So uh, look at Rops. He's pushing through middle. He'll have a he bit of a He loves these maneuvers. Here, yeah. He did it on the T half and now he's doing it on the CT side. It'll be a late flank. Looks like Hampus is starting to crawl up. And Bemis unprepared for that positioning. He wasn't expecting him so far up. But feels like he's been a bit hard done by there, Hampus. Could have and should have perhaps been a frag. Acor's still on the site. Problems now for NIP. What's that Rops flank status? Ah, just as I asked, he puts his name in the feed and the bomb on the floor. Popsky does recover it. Oh, this is going to get so hard for NIP to win now. Yeah, because they kind of have to go A. Like and they're worried about Rops the entire time. He's rotating too. Oh, that's so smart. His presence alone. He can be in two places now, essentially. One ghost parked at ramp and tested Acor. Oh, only good for half of the damage. Oh, they're all quite low here. Oh, and another through the box. They're expecting behind. Yeah, he strikes for the first, but... Jiggers up, he'd need another, oh. and Plopsky dances with him well. Oh, yo, yo, yo. There's a lot of details to that yeah. round there, Chad. Handled, though, right? So NIP will get five. Okay, now they should get six. They should be able to convert here. Should, right? You're going to hear a lot of that. Yeah. Ifs and cut, ifs and nut, the <laughs> and butts, and yeah. babies. And, and scratches and cuts, and ladies. There you go. I don't know where that came from. Neither do I, but let's pretend it's a real thing. Ifs and cuts. Ifs and cuts. What's an if and cut? Well, I mean, you might get a little paper cut on your... Yeah, by if and. If and? Be a little bit too iffy. I fancy uh, a couple of Mac 10 frags here. I want device to get a little confidence boost. The uh, confidence is far from boosted. It's an even trade. Could have been more. Linus is constantly looking more threatening than he has previously. I really am happy for him. I if they bring this back, weird. Alex, I'm going to be more than impressed. I don't know what what's, what could be more than impressed. Yeah. But I, 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 I don't know. I just... I think the, the hall was too big. Isn't you know, it? Like, if it was 10-5, maybe? A 12-3 half, Chad. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. Where did both the, of them go? There's a little boosty boy manoeuvre. Um, okay, I'm starting to get a little concerned. He picked up an AK oh. and he's taken another head. NIP... You need a multi out of someone. It's Rez or Linus. Rez looking 
like a man possessed in pursuit of another, and Dexter's at least got a read of the situation. Bemis working on a flank, I believe. Oh, they missed the molly. Uh, nothing looks good for NIP at the moment. I... Oh. Just as you were starting to like actually build a, the first step in the comeback story, now NIP are warning us off. Looking a bit sketched out here and actually pushing off of that short flash with backs turned. It's damage, oh. that's the frag. Rez expecting the partnership there and just a preemptive wall bang. 7 HP for Bemis too. Yeah, he doesn't have much of a chance here. He's going to get preemptively checked. Oh, couldn't find it. The other was low. Two clicks to the head could have resulted in a one-on-one. -on -one. But there you go. That's a sick. They are all, I mean, all of NIP's rounds have been coming through some ups and downs. We'll see how this one falls apart, though. Yeah, yeah. Dexter did a great job of being jarring, right? This is great from Rez. This is really oh. good from Rez. I mean, like, they knew, they, they did so many steps in the right direction on a full eco victory there. Rez bails his team out and says, play on. Okay. Well, now it's against the gun. So let's see. One's already slipped the net to the left of Device here. It is Robs. Oh, what a combo that was. Oh, that was lovely. And Robs should have them both booked. Mouseports, that's a perfect start. You couldn't really ask for more. In fact, Rez was flashed off. The smoke's the only thing that guises his advance. And if he tries any funny business, Dexter will receive him. Take that and immediately, right? And this is going to send NIP's economy into question straight away because those rounds have been so close. They've already bottomed out. I, I really like that little maneuver right there where they dropped the molly scaff, which forced the player trying to take control either to run forward or run back. So that was that was a cool little wombo and combo. That, and that partnered with Frozen not only wall banging it, but then pre-aiming the exit. See his toes, so Rops will find a third. Also worth noting that Rops was about to be tested on the B stairs and went for the most aggressive of holds. He throws the smoke, leaps down, and catches them with their backs turned. We'll see it again. Like 1 minute 39. They, they weren't slow to that. Make no mistake, Rops was just quicker. I wonder if that was a, a T smoke as well, right? Because I know teams, they'll drop a T smoke there because the CTs like to molly it. And that one right there didn't land in the middle of the doorway, which actually is what felt like it enticed them in, right? So, well, you can see the red button hit over there for NIP. Immediately purchasing straight in with whatever they can. Oh, the double nade. All of the gimmicks have come through perfectly. First, it was frozen with the org frag. This time, it's the double nade. Device now has to watch as this 20th round transpires. That's very brave from Dexter. He wants to actively contest this, and he has been swung on. Rez only kept to one. And Acor activated, called upon the departure of Dexter. He has to fill the gap of short. And this is an angle that usually favors Orpers. He can post up, take as much or as little as he desires. That's the end of Linus. Good reaction out of Acor. Slither the gap and hits the bullet. Required. Looking like a 14th here. You're kind of hoping this one gets uh, taken care of pretty quick here by Mouse. I, I think if you're a Mouse fan right now, you don't want to let this one get back to close affairs. Not bad out of Plopsky to get one. I think that's probably all he's going to get here. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Bimus will strike. That is 14 to 6 now. And just two more rounds of play. And with that force buy in the previous year, NIP don't have any money. Device is straight in again. Everybody else is following his lead right now. Util skimp. Weaponry average. Below average. If you had to, uh, just, just for my own um, knowledge, if you had to try and break through like a little punishing mid piece, who, who are you running into from the. Mouse Sports camp, it's Bemis. Okay, so here they come. Nade from Bemis already promising. The Molly extinguish, and they're coming straight into his domain. Acor 1, holding down Mouse 1 for 3. Quick maths, 15 for Mouse, one frag away. Come on, Hampus. Just get us to Inferno, mate. The one on five with the Deagle from the B lobby. Yeah, I mean, so it's going to become like a best of one elimination game between the two of them. On Inferno. On Inferno. We all like some Inferno. Perfect, yeah. yeah. 
I think if you're NIP and you end up losing this series, you think, you know, what if we just banned Vertigo? How scared of Nuke were you? Uh, apparently very. Or, apparently, you're going to call Mouse Sports Bluff. And they're ready and raring to go. They got pocket aces. That's it, a poker term. It is I don't quite know what a call out. Yeah, I think so. I think it means you've put two cards in your pocket and uh, they caught you. Damn. Yeah. That's what he's trying to do, you rascal. Trying to hit bridge players. And Plopsky, a, oh, oh, a bit of a kerfuffle. It's all falling apart. Dexter to finish it up right here and now. The bullet's just shy of finishing off Rez, but yeah, mouse spots, they've come and punished the NIP float of Vertigo. You don't think we can play this? You don't think we can play this? You don't think we're going to pick it and make your life utter misery? Well, think again. Because there you 